In the criminal justice system, the people are represented by two separate yet equally important groups, the police who investigate crime and the district attorneys who prosecute the offenders. These are their stories. Someone's gonna get a kiss Friday night. Look who's talking. I'm not even going. Neither am I. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Shut up. Good job. Now we gotta go get the ball. Oh. Well, Chief, here's what we got. A couple of teenage girls playing by the field. They go to retrieve the ball and find the sword completely missing from the stone. No sign of it at all. My God. We got any leads? We got any suspects? We got nothing, Chief. Well, we know this. Our perp is someone that does not have a lot of school spirit right now might even be someone that absolutely does not care about anything. Do we know anybody that might fit this profile? I think I may know someone. Bring him in. Are y'all even real cops? Guess we're real cops and where's the sword? I don't know. Okay. Just tell us the truth and everything's gonna be okay. Shut up, Noah. I don't even like you. Just tell us where the sword is. Typical Will. Crying again. <gasps> I'm not crying. You're crying! You all have any evidence against me? We have your fingerprints all over the crime scene. Have you even been to the crime scene? We'll be back. Chief? Yeah. Wrong rock. What? I don't even know if the thing was a rock. Are you kidding me? Welcome back to The Roundtable. I'm Amber Jones. And I'm Sammy Ballone. The Roundtable was able to go backstage for an inside look at the upcoming show from the theater department. It's a story of love, lust, magic, and murder. So here is the exclusive sneak peek of Medea. Check it out.
The show is Tuesday night at 7 p.m. in the NPAC. Medea is one night only, so you don't want to miss it. Next, let's take a quick look at the weather from our NHS storm team. Guys, take it away. One, two, three, four, five. Nico, Nico, knee. One, two. Better. Oh my gosh, what am I doing? What am I doing? Ah, okay, I'm sweating. Hello guys, welcome to weather. I am Grace. And I'm Elijah. And we're coming to you live from the, did I just say live? Okay. Anyways, um, we're coming to you from the round table at Nolensville High School. Oh, you're laughing. Anyways, okay. So, Friday's weather is going to be mostly sunny and it's going to be in the high 70s as the high, like in Fahrenheit. What about for the game? Oh, the game is looking to be uh, pretty chilly, so I mean, bring your sweatshirt, and if you didn't bring your sweatshirt, just come to me, and I'll give you a pair. Back to you, Grace. Oh, thank you, Elijah. Always looking out for you guys. Mm -hmm. As for the weekend, Saturday is looking to be partly sunny, and the high is probably going to be something like 79 degrees Fahrenheit, and for Sunday, there's going to be a thunderstorm, and it's probably looking to be 74 degrees Fahrenheit. No jumping in the puddles this time, Elijah. And I did not say participation. Good job. But do you know any options I can do so I can not jump in puddles and get electrocuted? Well, I'm going to be playing video games and watching anime. Mm. Nico, Nico, Ni. How about you? Probably just going to watch some football, eat some food, sleep, you know, the normal stuff. Ah, okay. That sounds like fun. Thank you, Elijah. Well, that's all for today's episode, guys. We will see you next time. Bye! Bye. <laughs> that's it. Mm hmm. Maybe. Should we walk out or? Thanks, guys. TV Film Level 1 has continued their work on their public service announcements. Here are a few more of the standouts. Running back on first and goal. They give it to Bernard. Has room and takes it in. Touchdown, Cincinnati. First rushing touchdown this season for Giovanni. Hey guys, yeah. what's up? What's up? We've got an extra drink. Here you go. What's in here? What do you think? Come um, on, just drink it. I don't really know if I want to. Come on, just don't do it. Sure you Nobody care. Come on. It'll be fine. All right. <laughs> There will not be a rigorous matching or select using the checkboxes at the intersections of columns and rows. Oh, thank you for meeting me, Miss Olson. Yep. I know this is going to sound awkward, but I have heard rumors from other students that you have been underage drinking and arriving to football games under the influences of alcohol. Yeah. Is this true? Yeah, but I, I didn't want to. I'm sorry, but this is a really serious matter, and I'm going to have to write you up. This is for your own good. Please, I won't do it again. I know you won't. After this, you definitely won't. Hey, is he okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Hey, Izzy. Same time next Friday? Yeah, sure. Izzy Olson, please come to the principal's office.
Miss Olson, was it really worth it? No thanks. <laughs> Welcome back. The parking lot has been a place of chaos this year. Speeding, swerving, and people driving without parking passes has been a constant issue. Fortunately, the parking police are here to clean it up. Here we go. All right, guys, so what's the hardest part about being a cop? Well, you know, life is constantly on the edge. Oh, what is this? What is this? What is this? It's my turn around. Get that out. What is that? Get that out. Sir, sir, sir. 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 Um, one time we came across a, um, a red, um, Ford. Got a parking pass! What are you doing? <laughs> Ma'am, are you legally able to drive here? What's this horsing around? <laughs> He's been gunning it in here in the parking lot. Got your parking pass? Yep, okay. Right, what else you got in here? Is that real? Uh, it looks like a fake. Fire. Get out of the car. Alright, right, I just heard on my dispatch speaker that we have a um, vehicle without a um, without a parking pass, so we're going to go ahead and respond to this. That's a code um, 1041. It's a teacher on a black uh, gator, it looks like, gator, lawnmower, whatever. It was red. Sir, stop. Stop the vehicle. Stop the vehicle. Turn off the engine. Turn off the engine, sir. Do you have your permit, sir? Uh, not on me. License registration? Um... It's on my other lawnmower. Sir, I'm not, actually, please step out of the vehicle. Please. What's going on here? Just step out of the vehicle, sir. Oh, what? Hands up, hands up, please. Oh. Hands up. All we ask is for your cooperation, sir. Don't. Sir, oh, do not down. run. Do not run. Sir, sir, hey. sir. Hey! Hey, hey! What you got in here? A little bit, uh, you know, you can have a What's this? <laughs> uh uh. Sick. Hey! Get up in there. Go. See what your speed is. Yeah. Where is it, son? Where, Where is it at? Oh, it is. Yeah. Pay for it yet? Yeah. Oh, you have. Yeah. Why isn't it on your? Come here. It's, I just haven't gotten it from the office yet. Oh, yeah. really? Yeah. I don't know what you're, what you're doing, son. Hey, man. Hey, man. Hey. Hey, man. As police officers, we are constantly risking our lives every single day to protect um, the citizens of the city. Couldn't say any better myself. Amen to that, brother. Think of all those mornings starting back before Thanksgiving for you to prepare for this moment. You've worked too hard. Living by the sword, starting with our relationships, each other, that's what it's all about. That's what it's all about, our relationships with each other. That's what's going to carry us through. No Time to turn up. Something bad is gonna happen tonight. I promise you it's gonna happen. How we respond will determine the outcome of this game. How will you respond when something bad happens? Repeat after me. I can! I can! I will! I can! I can! I will! I can! I will! I can! I will! I can! I will! I will! I can! 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 I will! I can!
Thanks for watching. Have a great day. And remember, live, live by, by the sword. sword.